In this video, you'll learn what every button on your Oculus controller is used for in Quill. The first button I'd like to show you is the left menu button at the bottom left of your left controller. This button will bring up a big guide which will tell you what every button does in case you forget or want to learn on your own. The next button I'd like to talk about is the right trigger. By pulling the right trigger, you'll be able to draw brush strokes in 3D space. By pushing the A button, located here, you'll be able to delete these strokes. By using the B button, you can color pick from these strokes. Once you've drawn strokes, you can use the right analog stick to undo these strokes by flicking left, or redo these strokes by flicking right. You can also use the right analog stick to make your current tool bigger or smaller. By pressing the right trigger like a button and clicking it in, you can bring up a gimbal over the current selected object. You can hide this gimbal by pressing it again. You can use the grip buttons underneath your controllers to navigate the scene, as explained in the previous video. You can press the Y button to bring up the quill menu. By pressing X, you can switch back and forth between your current tool and the selection tool. While using the selection tool, you can use the right trigger to select brush strokes, which you can then move around the scene by using the grip buttons. The left trigger is used for a variety of alternative functions. For instance, by pushing the right analog stick up and down, the brush normally becomes bigger and smaller. But by holding the left trigger, and pushing the analog stick up and down, you adjust the focus of the brush. The left analog stick is mostly for animation. By pushing the analog stick to the right, it will advance through your animation frames. By pushing the analog stick to the left, it will play your animation frames backwards. By pressing up on the analog stick, it will create new blank frames in your animation. Pressing down will hold the current frame longer in your animation. Clicking the analog stick in, like a button, will play your animation. Holding the left trigger gives you a different set of functions. By holding the left trigger and pressing up, it will clone frames. By holding the left trigger and pressing down, it will delete frames. Pressing the left trigger and swiping left will go to the first frame of your animation. Holding the left trigger and pressing right will go to the last frame of your animation.